Family, we will begin by getting ourselves ready for our mindful moment. I want you for a moment to just take a look at that garden because we are going to experience what is called a garden meditation. This is a new uh, meditation, something that we have not done before. So I want you to get in the space and place where you are comfortable and confident. I'm going to ask that you simply allow your feet to just melt into the ground beneath you. I want you to take a moment, family, to just go within, allowing your hands to gently rest in your laps. I want you to simply give your body and your mind permission to relax. And at this time, family, I want to invite you to close your eyes. As you breathe naturally and normally, allowing each inhalation and each exhalation to bring you closer to yourself, closer to the center of self-awareness, I just want you to breathe, family. Any doubts, any frustrations that you've been holding on to, any anxiety in this moment, I want you to give your body, your mind permission to just release, relax and allow all of the emotions to come and go. Today, family, we're going to go on a journey, our first visualization meditation. You have been mindfully breathing for seven weeks now, and now we're going to put everything we've learned together into one succinct practice. This garden meditation is meant for you to explore visualization, to explore self-curiosity, and to be gentle with yourself and allow your mind and your body to connect. As you breathe naturally and normally, we're going to begin this journey by allowing our feet to just plant themselves firmly on the ground beneath us. We're going to scan up to our legs, giving our legs permission to relax. We feel the weight, the gravity, the volume of our legs, allow them to just gently Relax every muscle, scanning up to your torso, giving your torso permission to relax, scanning up to your shoulders where a lot of the tension and weight usually reside. We're going to give your shoulders permission in this moment to relax, scanning up to your neck. Your neck is relaxed. Let's spend some time in your, uh, in your neck area, allowing your neck to just soften, scanning up to your jaw, giving your mouth, your jaw, your teeth, your gums, all permission to just relax. That's another area where tension likes to dwell. We'll scan all the way up to our uh, temples, giving our temple permission to just relax. Any tension, any headaches, any stress, we'll just allow it to in this moment, visualize an ice cube melting, that ice cube turning to water, that water turning to gas. Allow any thoughts that are lingering to just simply pass. As you breathe naturally and normally, scanning down to your arms, your arms are relaxed, your hands, hands are relaxed. Here we are, a full body, full mind, completely relaxed. Now family, for today's meditation, we're going to visit our garden. Everyone has a garden and this garden is completely created by you and for you. At any given time that you want to visit your garden, it is completely up to you to simply take three communal breaths and you can begin taking one step toward your self-awareness. So as we begin, allow us to take a deep breath in through our nose. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. We tilt our head back. We take in another deep breath. We hold it a bit longer and release through our mouths. Five, four, three, two, one, returning our head back to center. We're breathing naturally and normally, reminding ourselves that we are enough and that we have enough. Let us prepare for our second communal breath. Here we go, breathing in deeply. One, two, three, four, five. We tilt our head back. We take in another deep breath. We hold it a bit longer and release from our mouths. Five, four, three, two, one. Returning our head back to center. We're feeling a bit more connected in our body. We're feeling grounded in our mind, preparing for our final communal breath. Here we go, family, breathing in deeply through our nose. One, 
two, three, four, five. We tilt our head back. We take in another deep breath. We'll hold it the longest this time. And release slowly from your mouths. Five, four, three, two, one. Returning your head back to center. You're breathing naturally and normally, feeling relaxed in your mind, feeling relaxed in your body. Now, family, we will begin to walk mentally and emotionally toward our garden. As you begin to walk toward your garden, I want you in your mind's eye, meaning your eyes are still closed, but just in your mind, I want you to take a look at your feet. And this is just, I want you to picture the ground underneath your feet as you walk toward your garden. Remember family, this is a visualization activity. So you are building this and creating this with self curiosity in mind. You're building your garden from scratch. For some of us, as we look down at our feet, underneath our feet is grass. For some of us, it might be cobblestones. For some of us, it might be gravel. As you walk towards your garden, I want you to create the floor beneath your feet. With each intentional step, you're walking closer and closer to your garden. You're breathing naturally and normally. When you look down at your feet, some of us are barefoot. Some of us might have on a flip-flop. Whatever is on your feet, you're creating that with your mind's eye. As you begin to approach the doorway of your garden, you're breathing naturally and normally, allowing your mind and your body permission to relax. I want you to, for a moment, to picture the gate or the door that leads to your garden. For some of us, that gate might be made of iron. For some of us, it might even be gold. It might be wood. Whatever your gate is made of, I want you to, in your mind's eye in this moment, just create the door that leads to your garden. As you breathe naturally and normally, allowing your body permission to relax, you're going to look down at your door that leads to the garden with your mind's eye and you notice a lock. As you breathe naturally and normally, I want you to spend some time looking at the lock. For some of us, the lock is made of iron or wood. I want you to, in your mind's eye, picture the lock that locks the door to your garden. As you breathe naturally and normally, family, you can simply reach into your pocket and you will find the figurative key that opens the lock to your garden. As you hold the key in your hand, family, I want you to look at the key. Create the key with your mind's eye. For some of us, that key is made of brass. For some of us, that key might be made of gold. It might even be made of wood. I want you to, in your mind's eye, take that key and unlock the lock that opens your garden. As you breathe naturally and normally, reminding yourself that you are enough and that you have enough and you're doing everything exactly as you are supposed to, I want you to push open the door that leads to your garden. As you begin to hear the sounds of birds, you can hear the trees, you can feel all of the warmth that is in your garden. For some of us, our garden has palm trees. For some of us, it's big, tall, forest-like trees. For others of us, we are just building the birds and the flowers as we go along. In some of our gardens, we see a blue jay, a robin. We might see tulips. We might see daisies. We even might see sunflowers in our gardens. I want you in this moment, family, in your mind's eye, create the scene as you walk into your garden. What do the trees look like? What do the birds sound like? What flowers do you see in the garden of your mind? Breathe naturally and normally and begin to take one deliberate step after another through your garden. Family, you are giving your mind and your body permission to relax as you walk through your figurative garden, smelling the beautiful aroma of flowers and nature, hearing beautiful birds. I want you in your mind's eye to listen to the distance. You can absolutely hear water running. In your mind's eye, I want you to create the source of that water family. 
as you breathe naturally and normally. For some of us, that water might be uh, a simple lake or stream. For others, it might be a waterfall or even an ocean. I want you to, in your mind's eye, to create where is that water source coming from? As you walk deliberately and intentionally through your garden, breathing naturally and normally, I want you to walk toward the sound of the water. You're feeling relaxed. You're feeling comfortable. You're feeling confident, breathing naturally and normally as you walk through the garden of your mind. Before you get to uh, any further, you notice that there is a bench off into the distance, right at the shore. As you begin to walk deliberately to that bench, I want you to pause for a moment in your mind's eye and create the material of the bench. For some of us, that bench might be made of stone. It might be made of wood. It might just be a simple rock. I want you to in your mind's eye, in this moment, family, create the bench that you will sit down and just look off at the water from. As you breathe naturally and normally, you realize that the bench is actually made for two. So in this moment, family, I want you to think deeply and intently about a mentor, a friend, a loved one, someone you admire, if you can invite one person into this garden with you that could answer a question that you have been seeking to find the answer for quite some time, I want you to invite that person in your mind's eye to sit with you on your bench. As you breathe naturally and normally, I want you to be present to the fact that this person might not have been here any longer in the physical form, but in this moment, in your mind's eye, you can welcome them back. I want you to breathe naturally and normally and prepare your mind and your heart to ask them the question, the question that you've been waiting to hear the answer to for quite some time now. You're breathing naturally and normally. You're still hearing the birds. You're still smelling the scents of the flowers and now, your mentor, your friend has come to sit down. As you breathe naturally and normally allowing your body permission to relax, allowing your heart the space to receive the message, just sit and commune with your friend. As you breathe naturally and normally, you are having this communication. You're reminded in this moment that you can return to your garden at any time. I want you to simply thank your friend, your mentor, your loved one, your guide for joining you in this experience. And in this moment, family, I want you to allow this person to say farewell for now, allowing them to gently stand. In your mind's eye, feel yourself simply stand as they stand and embrace them. Feel the connection, feel the love and the warmth that this person has come to give you in this moment of curiosity. And now family, as they begin to walk away slowly, they turn around one more time with a beautiful smile, with a beautiful reminder that you will absolutely see them again very soon. 
I want you to, for a moment, family, to look now out at that body of water that you've created with your mind's eye. For some of us, it was a stream. For some of us, it was a lake, a river. It might even be a waterfall or the ocean. Just spend some time looking at the water. Listening to the water. Water has a, an amazing cleansing property. So as you stand up family and you begin to prepare your mind and your heart to walk back toward the doorway of your garden, the same doorway that allowed you to enter your garden, you will use that doorway to exit your garden, but not a moment too soon. Take a moment to take in the beautiful scenery that you created with your mind's eye. Smell the flowers, hear the birds, see the exotic trees and the grass, all that nature has to offer, everything that you've been able to create. Take a moment to take it in. As you notice the ground beneath you, as you walk with intentional steps back to the doorway, for some of us that door was made of wood, for others, it might have been made of iron or even gold. I want you to, with your mind's eye, take your hand. Notice your hand as you touch the door and feel the door on your hands. Simply open it. Now, family, in your mind's eye, you have traveled outside of your garden. Before you close the door, take one more look in and see that everything is just as it's supposed to be. At this time, family, I would love for you to just simply close the door to your garden, reaching back into your pocket to get the key. For some of us, that key was made of brass. Others, it might be made of gold or even wood. We're going to take that key out and lock the lock that leads to our garden. As you begin to take deep breaths, deep inhalations, deep exhalations. I want you to, with your mind's eye, to look down at your feet. You can now see the ground beneath your feet. For some of us, it was cobblestones or sand or grass that led up to our garden. We're taking deliberate steps away from our garden with the awareness that we can return any and every time we want to go. This is the beauty of the mind. This is the wonder of mindful meditation. You have the ability at any given time to simply travel to peace, to awareness, to know that you are enough and that you have enough. So as you walk with deliberate steps away from your garden, take one more last look and remind yourself that it is right there. And now walking deliberately and intentionally into the awareness that is the room that you are in. You can feel the ground beneath your feet with the wiggle of the toes and the fingers. Gently invite your awareness back into the room by opening your eyes. <laughs>